Hello, this reading is for those who just recently broke up or had a fallout with your partner. I'll do three spreads. The situation spread, who you're dealing with, who left who, etc. The advice spread, is it worth your time to reconcile with this ex? And the new love in the near future spread. Do you have anybody new coming towards you, hopefully better suited for you than your ex? Please like my videos if they resonate and subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. Hi Aries, here's the situation. We have the Chariot, we have the Knight of Wands, clarified by the Three of Cups and the Tower. We have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Fire Sign, another Aries, the or Sagittarius, or pretty much anybody. This is a general reading. So, the way this actually played out could vary a little bit, depending on your situation. The main point, the main idea here is that you were dealing with uh, somebody who was on their end dealing with more than one person so this person you were dealing with was involved with other people or uh, you were dealing with a player right so this person that's their typical behavior I guess um, and uh, you found out somehow and that pretty much destroyed this uh, relationship for you and uh, your current uh, status is the Wounded Warrior. Alright, so let's start with just that. The Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck, all the way on the right, this is a card of a Wounded Warrior. This is a card of somebody who just recently went through something, and uh, what that something was uh, this tower right there. The tower is uh, clarifying the Nine of Wands, and there's also the Three of Cups. The Knight of Wands is either a fire sign, a fellow air, I mean fellow Aries, uh, Leo Sagittarius or the Knight of Wands is that player person, right? The Knight of Wands, somebody who is in and out of your life, somebody who is hot and cold, somebody who's got multiple people involved, and that's what I think the Three of Cups, clarifying the Knight of Wands, is all about. This is a third party situation, and the Tower, like I said, this is uh, something that you found out, and that basically destroyed this connection between you and this person. Right, the chariot, the first card that came out, it could be a cancer you're dealing with, or it could be uh, that another person involved in this third party situation is a cancer. The chariot could also symbolize um, them pretty much not caring, because the chariot is a card of somebody who can bulldozer over anybody. Right, the chariot is all about them moving on and leaving you in the dust. Um, the Ace of Pentacles that came out last, this is a golden opportunity, so perhaps this person will be coming back and uh, making you an offer with the Ace of Pentacles, right? But um, if I were you, I wouldn't really consider getting back together with this person at this point. However, the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. It often comes from somebody who is uh, all about settling down. This it's all about um, starting a commitment or getting married, right? So perhaps this person will come back from the past and make you an offer. But uh, like I said in the beginning, you're still in the 901's uh, energy, the card on the bottom of the deck. I don't know if you'll be able to for forgive and forget. Perhaps they'll tell you that they've changed. They're no longer uh, the way they used to be. They've abandoned their player ways, something among those lines, and uh, um, it's going to be a very hard decision for you. But the good news is that uh, the second spread <laughs> coming up is all about the advice. All right, cool. Here's the advice spread for you, Aries. This is from your perspective. This is what you need to do, or at least take into consideration. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords. We have Judgment, clarified by Justice, and we also have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Um, so the only two major arcana cards on the table are Judgment and Justice, and one is clarifying the other. And uh, what I think it's talking about, it's going to be 100% up to you. Um, Judgment is uh, you needing to make a judgment call, and justice is what do you think is right, what do you think is just, what do you think is good for you, Aries. Um, the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of a betrayal, this is a card of a third party situation, this is a card of a major devastation, and that's what this person puts you through, 
right Derry? So you'll just have to see if you can forgive this person or not. And uh, with the Six of Pentacles, the first card that came out, this is you making that decision. The Six of Pentacles often does come through as a card of a choice because the person standing in the middle, the person standing up, has got the scales in one of their hands, right? And uh, those scales are all about pros and cons. Do you want to give this relationship another chance or not? Do you want to forgive and forget or not? And uh, with the Six of Swords, this is you either moving on, right? Or you are giving this person another chance. So you are moving from uh, making a decision with the Six of Pentacles to the actual decision with the Judgment and Justice cards. So it will vary depending on your situation, depending on how badly this person hurt you or if you actually want to give them another chance. You know, Aries, as I always say, if somebody really, really screwed you over in the past, chances are they'll do it again. But, um, again, <laughs> this is up to you Aries. The Three of Swords is a very serious card. This is a card of a devastation and it's on the bottom of the deck so everything pretty much revolves around this uh, major heartbreak with the Three of Swords and uh, your decision. Alright so we're not going to uh, concentrate on uh, this connection in the third spread. The third spread is uh, next new love coming towards you in the near future. Here's spread number three, Aries. This is new love coming towards you in April. We have death clarified by the moon. We have the page of cups. We have the two of cups. And we also have the hierophant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Pisces or a Taurus or pretty much anybody. So I got a little worried when I saw the death card. And I clarified it and it's clarified by the moon. Um, so death is the personal Scorpio card. The moon is the personal Pisces card. But I think this combo is all about... Um, your depression or your sadness or your loneliness, your feeling bad type of feeling is coming to an end in April because you will have this new person come towards you, right? So um, the Page of Cups is a card of somebody reaching out to you. This is somebody um, asking you out. This is uh, somebody giving you flowers, sending you text messages, sending you uh, pigeons with messages. <laughs> you know, just being nice to you. Um, it ki feels kind of lighthearted, right? And that's the way I think this connection will be for some time. But then uh, at some point it will grow, it will blossom into an amazing connection because the next card that came out is the two of cups right so with the page of cups this is just one person offering their cup but with the two of cups this is two people sharing their cups of love uh, the two of cups is uh, soulmate love this is unconditional love and uh, to me personally when I see the two of cups it's always about two people being on the same page and uh, the feelings they have for each other are mutual the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck is either a Taurus you're dealing with, because uh, this is the personal Taurus card, or the Hierophant is about something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. So, uh, yeah, the Tea of Cups with the Hierophant, these are uh, great cards to have in, uh, in the same spread. There's definitely love there, and uh, there's definitely uh, potential for a committed relationship with the Hierophant card. And, uh, yeah... What's also important, like I said in the beginning of this spread, is uh, your sadness um, is going to become a thing of the past with the Death and the Moon cards. So, um, looks very promising, Aries. <laughs> Alright, so that's what I got for you for this reading. Hopefully it resonates. Don't forget to watch my other videos on this channel. And other than that, Aries, try to have an amazing um, birthday month <laughs> and uh, have an amazing April overall. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.